Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Let's just continue. It looks like, hopefully there's nothing weird going. The entire town is gone? Just last episode, there was a whole party Whatever. going on. Where is everyone? There's not a soul in the streets. Perhaps they all went somewhere as part of the festival. Wouldn't we have heard about it? I was interviewing people about the history of Hearts Fest last night, and no one mentioned... Ah, oh, way to go, Six Star. What were they saying? Huh, do you have to keep bringing that up? Just wait a minute. What? What in the world? You? Did something happen to your diary? Life is like an onion. Layer by layer, you peel away, only to find yourself in tears. But, sauté the pieces in olive oil and... Ah! Uh, you might find the result surprisingly sweet. But let us speak of onions another time. Today, I have come to offer you an apology. Forgive me, for I did not mean to cause you concern. On the contrary, I sought only to help you in some small way. While I would like nothing more than to meet you face to face, I fear that things are not quite so simple. For the time being, know this, I am a friend. And while I consider myself kindly and know my way about the seas, I am not by any means a stalker. Bon courage, may fortune ever smile upon you in your travels. Who wrote this? Not me, that's for sure. It wasn't me either. And if it wasn't me... That, that leaves... Us? You cannot be serious. Uh, why, we did not even know that our minister kept a diary until this very moment. Judging from his words, it would seem to be the same person who guided us here to Eisenberg. Right. If I recall... He was going on about vegetables then, too. <laughs> he right? likes his vegetables. That was before you even met us. Does that mean this man with the purple pen is following us? Maybe it's... A ghost! Stop it, will you? Didn't I tell you that if there's one thing I'm scared of, it's ghosts. Hey, I don't like them either. Why did I say that? If someone had followed us all the way here, we'd have noticed by now. Wow, sir. Cool and collected even at a time like this. Alright, I've got it. Our culprit is the ghost of a kindly seafaring gardening stalker. We must be on our guard! This town? The diary? Strange things are happening all around us. For all we know, an asterisk holder might be just around the corner. Let's search the town and stay alert. Okay, we search. Uh, it doesn't look. Well, there's one man still around, the adventurer. Wait, what did he say? Wait, hold on. We're, oh, I was saying, I think he said, like, I don't mind staying around to help you. This is fair enough. Okay, I guess let's just, uh... Let's... Who is you? Look, there's someone. Why, that is... Onisama! Onisama, is it truly you? You look How sick. I miss you so. Yoko, what are you doing in this place? I was searching for you, Onisama. Oh, how far I traveled, braving fearsome beasts. And an ever-grumbling tummy. I see. Pray forgive your unworthy brother. Well, there's nothing like a heartwarming family reunion. Our pampered little princess sure sounds different when she's talking to her big brother, huh? Hmm? I do not believe we have met. Oh, these are the kind people who traveled with me. They fed me when I was hungry and kept me company on my journey. Is that so? Then I too am in your debt. 
I am Danzaburo, a disciple of the sword. On behalf of my sister, I offer my deepest gratitude. Uh, don't mention it. I'm sure you'd do the same for us. By the way, Dunsaburo, would you know anything about where everyone in town has gone? I fear I do not. I arrived in this city not minutes ago. I see. And with that, Yoko, you have imposed on these kind strangers enough. We should return home to Yunohana. I would love nothing more than to do just that, Onisama. But I fear our only way home is being blocked by this dreadful woman. We were looking for a way to cross Eisenbridge too, but I'm afraid we're up against quite a fearsome foe. Is that so? Then perhaps I can be of some assistance. Might I accompany you to this bridge? But, of course. Okay. Looks like we're giving the bridge a second try here. Ooh, we also got a blue one, though. So, as usual, we will skip the yellow because I want to get the blue done first. So, yes, let's go over to the blue. I want to see what's going on here. about headlong like that and you may just take a tumble wow it's just like i remember is it really now you were only wee high when we left you know i feared you might forget this place no way i could never forget this smell but it kind of smells like a dog now <laughs> the old place hasn't had anyone to look after it in quite some time. The posts and floorboards are all warped. Oh, and look up there. Even the roof is coming down. Yeah, neat. We can see the stars at night. <laughs> From today, this little place will be our home again. I'm not getting any younger. Even if I take the boat out, I won't be able to bring in the catch I used to. We'll have to tighten our belts on some nights. I hope you understand. Uh-huh. I want to live here again, where we all live together. Mom and Dad and you and me. I'll help out lots and work really hard, and you won't have to, okay? <laughs> I bet you would. You sure know how to warm an old man's heart. Let's give it our all. Oh, such passion. Such fire and vigor, they move me so. I fear I may be overcome with tears. I know that guy. Gross. <laughs> Stop! I am not of a rat girl. Please, in what a world could you mistake such a gentleman as this for the lowly rat? Arutus Profiteur, Merchant of Death, Holder of the Merchant Asterisk. This charlatan chairman was up to no good in Ansheim until Idia and her friends blew his money-making schemes out of the desert. While his ample coffers used to do all the talking, he now finds himself in the red, struggling to rebuild his fortunes. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Who are you? And what are you doing here, huh? This is our house. Yes, yes! Oh, I know, I know! I have been waiting here so very long for your return, yes? <laughs> Nice. What's going on here? Stop harassing these poor, innocent people! Oh, if it isn't Idia, perhaps you need a refresher on what harassment looks like. Holly White, the sadistic healer, holder of the White Mage Asterisk. She worked briefly alongside Idia when they served together in the Eternian Sky Knights. Despite her role as a healer, she has a streak of sadism a mile wide. 
and seems in little hurry to relieve the pain of her allies. By what strange trick of fate do your pa- Indeed! This is negotiation, not harassment! I was in the act of kindly explaining to this old man the ways of the business world. Then in comes rushing this violent woman! So nearly was a deal sealed and you dashed the whole thing to pieces. Fa! Deal? Negotiations? It looked like plain old swindling from where I stand. Erutus Profiteur, you are a filthy scheming robber baron. Robber baron? What slander! And from this sadistic white mage, Holly White. Push me again and you'll find yourself under the heel of my boot, you little rat! Oh! <laughs> See? Frightful woman! Oh, even the most beautifully framed points cannot withstand such noisome interruptions. I shall retreat for now, for dignity's sake. But I suggest you consider my offer, old man. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Research, preparation, there is so much to do. I bid you all ta-ta for now. Don't you dare leave me behind! I haven't finished with you yet, rat face! No, oh, wait a second, you two! Oh, jeez, they're already gone. What in the world was that all about? Negotiations about what? He said he had an interest in this place. This crumbling old shack? But why? Shack, eh? <laughs> I suppose that is what it must look like. This is our home. Oh, uh, beg your pardon. I was born to a long line of fishermen. This house has belonged to our family for generations, as has the bounty of this bay. But when my son and his wife lost their lives in the war, I took their daughter and fled for safer shores. When I received word that the war had ended, my granddaughter and I hastened back here. We arrived just days ago, only to find... That strange little man going, he, 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 in the corner. Yeah. And what did he have to say? Once he heard that the house belonged to us, he told us to sell it to him and leave. He wants you to abandon your home? What value could it hold for him? If you were to believe him, he claimed that it was for the good of the nation. Then we were interrupted by that miss in white. As the man spoke his piece, she flew into a frightful rage. She seized him by the lapels and shook him about like a limp fish, threatening him with some colorful language. More talk about us leaving this place and more quarreling, my poor granddaughter crying. Honestly, my mind is a whirl from it all. I think I've got the picture. Now I know for sure that those two were causing you trouble. It looks like I'll have to find out for myself what they're up to. Wait here, Gramps. We'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> that is what we must do then. Where are they located is a real question. Okay, so they're located... Or to whatever, to continue our quest. We have to go back to Hearts. Hearts Child or whatever that thing is called. Real quick. Should really do a moon update though. What do we got rolling here? Get a couple of these got done. Okay. Okay. I'm also like super tired. What time is it? Ah, oh, it's only 12 in the morning. Only 12 in the morning. Our dog. Uh, play with the dog until dusk? You bet. Why not? Ooh. 
Profiteur is here. Let's make sure to save here. Hey, isn't the Profiteur French? Wouldn't Magnolia and him be able to talk in French, right? Because they're French. He clearly has a French accent. It seems this town is faring better than I might have feared. Let us see where to start. Hmm? Just what are you trying to do here? Research, of course. Uh, market research. I must know what it is this country's people want and what they have to sell. Ah, it is you. You came rushing after me? Of course we did. What are you really after? Trying to run those two out of their home? Trying to line his own pockets, no doubt. This little rat doesn't think of anything else. Indeed, I do not. Money, money, money. Nothing could fill me with more joy. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Holly! It's obvious this money grubber thinks there's some profit to be made from that shack. Mm. Well, that I cannot deny. What could you possibly gain from deceiving that family? Be careful with your words, or this world will soon have one less rat in it. <laughs> Deceive, you say? You do not flatter me. I only sought to include them in a little venture that would earn us all a pretty pig. And what kind of venture would that be, exactly? <laughs> I hope you're prepared for this, girl. I intend to buy up all the land around that inlet, and turn a neat little profit in the process. You want to buy up the entire inlet? That's quite ambitious. That inlet connects this country to the world, the east to the west, and it will be the biggest port of trade anywhere when I am done with it. So that's why. And now you're researching what products this nation has to offer. Indeed, I am! Not that this is going as quickly as I should hope. Oh? Ran into some trouble, did you? It seems there are more people in this country than I expected who claim to have fond memories of that inlet. You'd have to do a great deal of construction, wouldn't you? To transform it into a real harbor. Filling shallows, regrading the cliffs? I have tried over and over to convince them. But some cling quite stubbornly to their objections. Exhibit A. Oh, I! That inlet is blessed with the best scenery. Developing a natural wonder like that? Blue <laughs> One of us! His teeth! They flew! As long as I've still got breath in me, I'll never allow you to turn that place into some grimy, grungy port. Here you go, sir. Hey, thank you, lad. Yes, yes, yes. You can say that again. Reclaiming a beautiful site like that inlet for a smelly old port. It's a travesty. So it seems. Is that what you're here for, Profiteur? To let everyone rail at you? Mm, let them say what they wish. For my next errand, I think I should take in the sights at the Eisen Bridge. Sure you're not headed on a fool's errand? <laughs> we shall see who is a fool in the end, hmm? Ta-ta! So Profiteur is trying to buy up that whole area to develop the inlet into a port. But what about you, Holly? Why are you so set on keeping his hands off that old house? Do you even need to ask? Sometimes I wonder if there's anything at all between those two ears of yours. Surely everyone loves their childhood home, no matter how humble it may be. Did you even look at that girl's face? That naive, honest yearning. I felt like I was looking at myself as a child. Come again? What would you do then? An old man and his granddaughter, scarred from their losses during the war, and about to start a new life together in their old home. And here comes some speculator to force them out, all because he thinks there might be some profit to be made. Sure, I understand all that. I just don't understand it coming from you. 
No, no, I suppose you wouldn't. Okay, um, do we go back to the old little port? You just why? Uh, 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 it looks like we're going to the bridge. Okie dokie, then. Back to the bridge we go. Looks like we got two missions here. So tell us, Don Zabro, why'd you set out on this journey? Put simply, it is but one step in my lifelong pursuit of the martial arts. I would wander the land and face many trials that I might achieve greater mastery of the blade. A journey to improve your swordsmanship? I bet you'd get along great with my master. Swords and swordsmanship are everything to me. So it has been for as long as I can recall. Nothing gives me greater happiness than the feeling of my blade rushing through the air. <laughs> A real bladed maniac, huh? Watch your tongue, Minister. Our Anisum is the greatest swordsman in the realm. Speak ill of him in our presence, and we shall have him chop you to pieces. To pieces! Whoa, whoa, whoa. watch where you swing that! Enough of this silliness, Yoko. You are frightening your friends. As you wish, Anisama. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you looking at us like that, Minister Yu? Oh, do not tell us that you are jealous. No, it's nothing like that. I was just thinking how nice it is the way you two get along. Oh, this is true. Our Anisama is strong and loyal and handsome. We hold him in the highest esteem. Yoko can be a spoiled child at times, but she is my sister and I care for her deeply. Anisama, you are truly too sweet. Yeah, it really is nice. <sighs> okay. Now there's just the matter of how we're gonna get across this bridge. Something tells me the lady with the gun isn't going to be very obliging. Get your tuchus over here! I'll blast you five ways to Sunday! Is the ship asleep? Ever. This isn't going to be easy. Worry not, friends. I have a plan. Perhaps you have heard, but this bridge was constructed directly atop an ancient aqueduct. One which remains standing even today. Should you cross via the aqueduct, it would place you right behind the woman. If we catch her at close range, she won't be able to get off a shot. Precisely. I shall divert her attention. Make for the aqueduct while she is looking away. Are you sure you can manage all by yourself, Danzaburo? Worry not. Notwithstanding my sister's boastings, I have some skill with a blade. I will keep her occupied. Go safely, friends. Okay, what about the extra mission? Huh? Who the heck are you supposed to be? Danzaburo, the lightning blade. Hito of the Five Swords of Yunohana challenges you to a duel. Just like a fee bringing a knife to a gunfight. You got a death wish or something? My blade will speak for itself. Come! Ha! Like I needed an invitation. Say your prayers, chump. Oh, he's about to ding, ding, ding. All the bolts out of the air, bro. Uh, did you just cut my bullet in two? Behold. Become one with the blade, and the impossible becomes possible. Hmm, it's a neat trick, I'll give you that. But I'm just getting warmed up. That was amazing, Don Zabro. All right, this is our chance. Let's go! Fight bravely, our minister. Inform us when you are ready to enter the aqueduct. Hmm. The devastation is even worse than I expected. This place is always a site of conflict. During the Civil War, and now again. 
Of course. It is this country's major thoroughfare. Such places are always the first to be targeted in war. Desperately fought over until all is laid to waste. Ah, I have seen what I came to see. Onward, onward. Uh, already? What about your research? Look at this bridge, girl. The picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, hey, wait! Was that it? For real? Okay. Apparently that was it. Well, I guess let's, uh, there's no, nothing on the moon. I'm gonna end this episode a little early here, but, because if I start the next part, it's gonna be like another 20 minutes. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like in a comment as it was on the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.